Welcome to a new Plain Dealer web series called Beyond Belief. The main theme goes something like this. We live in a world where most beliefs are cherished passionately, held absolutely and defended forcefully, even lethally. Which is to say that most people think the best approach to life is total affirmation of some ideas and complete denial of others. To get beyond belief would mean reaching a stage where such affirmations and denials lose intensity, where almost every question remains open. A state of mind where one dials down the conviction and ratchets up the curiosity and speculation, where everyone becomes a philosopher. As Bertrand Russell noted, the value of philosophy is, in fact, to be sought largely in its very uncertainty. The one able to tell us the infallibly true answers to the doubts it raises, philosophy is able to suggest many possibilities, which enlarge our thoughts and free them from popular notions and the tyranny of custom. And in case you're thinking, I'm no philosopher, it's really the case that almost everyone is a philosopher. Your party animal sister, your crazy uncle with the big hat, that zany neighbor, and most of the guys down at the bowling alley. So to expand on the mission of Beyond Belief, we tip our hat to that classic thinker, Eric Fromm. Where he wrote knowledge, we have inserted beliefs. We should not look at our beliefs as a possession in which we find security and which give us a sense of identity. We should not be filled with our beliefs or hang on to them or crave them. Beliefs should not assume the quality of dogma, which enslaves us. Belief should not be an invitation to stand still in order to find certainty or exercise authority. While beliefs can provide inspiration and guidance, they should not be used to oppress those who think differently. Beliefs feel profound, but are nothing more than a natural byproduct of everyday human thought, with possibly no connection to the truth. Let's repeat that. With possibly no connection to the truth. Since the election of Donald Trump, We've heard about fake news and alternative facts, which turn truth into some strange commodity hidden away in Senate reports or captured on secret taping devices, or tied up in nonsensical knots by partisan politicians, or doled out in things called narratives, which everyone is always trying to change. So maybe it's time for Beyond Belief, a series that can help us explore ideas and ponder the relative importance we attach to them. Sure, it might seem impossible, or even scary and unwise to trade our rock-solid personal certainties for the privilege of reaching some new conclusions. But it's fun once you get the hang of it, and Beyond Belief can show us how. Stay tuned.